Well, now we have the IOCCC prize in pentagrammatology, and I can only assume that somebody has figured out a way to summon demons with C code. <laughs> yeah. Devils. And, and you see, the, and the words say, demon and devil are all five letter words, if you know what I mean. Yes. And oh. penta is a four, uh, word, three or five letter word as well. So, but, but without further ado, <laughs> who won the prize in pentagrammatology? Who is the winner? <laughs> And the IOCCC Prize in Pentagrammatology goes to Dave Burton from the United States. Well done, uh, Dave. Um, this is, uh, you know, uh, this, this Dave has you know, won consistently from 2015 on, and this is his sixth win. Um, I have it on good authority that uh, Dave is currently about 10 kilometers above the surface of the earth, uh, assuming that the flight uh, left on time. So uh, Dave, um, I would suggest you let the flight attendants know that uh, you need to celebrate. Maybe they have some champagne that you could be given to to celebrate what is a really interesting piece of code. This is this is a fun piece of, of, of code. And so let's let's look at First of all, how you compile Dave's code. And here we see that, uh, again, ignoring that uh, annoying uh, warning from the linker, it's a straightforward compile, but you, you're, you're, you are saying photo by source. It has some other auxiliary things so that, so that we judge it based upon the, what prog.c does, but he supplies some other pieces of code which did some things such as taking the dictionary and doing some processing um, uh, on, on it with these, these auxiliary pieces of code. And you say, well, what does that do? And this is the piece of code. This is what it looks like. This is the source code. Um, there's a little bit, uh, there's a hint here um, that says Wordle. And for those that are familiar with that game, it looks like a um, Wordle sheet. And for those that aren't familiar with Wordle, it's a it's a game. This, by the way, this is what the sword code looks like. Um, doesn't really help you that much in understanding. It does have a, a main function down here with lots of other side functions and some interesting sort of constants out there. Um, this is a fairly uh, twisted set of functions that call themselves for doing a very interesting algorithm. Um, I also pretty like this this ability to return x y z z y. That was a nice little touch. Um, so what do, what do we got here, though? Yeah, I'm having to reload. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I will move forward for you while you're reloading. So um, the the. Wordle ha things has these sort of three phases. You given you given five letters. It'll put green if it turns out that uh, you have the um, the the right word in the correct spot, or if it's the you give the right letter in the correct spot. If it's the right letter but in the wrong spot, it's yellow. Otherwise, it's black. Um, and the next one here because uh, I may have to reload this this browser. Um, and I can't clear the the set. So here's a case where um, you you type in the word Wendy. Say that's going to be stuff, and you put on the other side. This was the um, the New York Times, and it says, "Oh, you have a black, yellow, yellow, black." So the the, the yellow letters were correct, but in the wrong spot. And so it says, "Try Nader." So we type in Nader. And it comes back and it says, oh, we've got yellow, black, green, green, black. So you enter that in to the code. And it comes back and says, oh, I got this solved. Um, there it is. It is, it is, it is, um, um, you know, done the, the undead. You type in undead and the New York Times puzzle says impressive, right? Um, 
it worked out uh, quite quite well. Yeah, that that's pretty handy. So, like, how how accurate is it? Do you think is it is it going to do that like in three all the time? How's what's what? How's it work? Yeah. Well, we there are two ways to play Wordle. Well, one is so called light mode, where you can type any word at any time, and the other is hard mode, where you have to type the word that is consistent with the previous clue. So this entry plays the hard mode. And that of course makes it hard to win because you can fall into so-called hard mode trap. So if there are very many words that let's say end with the, with the same ending, then you may, may have to repeat the same ending over and over trying to guess the one remaining letter. You can have like a batch and catch and hatch and patch and uh well there is potentially that six uh tries will not be enough well this okay. program plays that hard mode and it tries to minimize the number of tries but in a very rare occasion it may have to to use more than six so if you're trying to maintain your streak then you may have to think harder but if you try to minimize the average number of tries to win that this program is is your guy <clears throat> yeah and so i say it's it is um I, I guess there's different strategies for uh wordle players um and this one gives you um, at least one of the strategies which is as you say optimizing for the minimum number but as you say there's a there's in the description there's a sort of a a um a population set we look over the the full dictionary and you'll find that there's a small percentage which will go beyond six it'll solve it but but the new york times only gives you six tries and if you're really interested in trying to do the minimum number this does a really good job of that so well done dave this is a, a fun uh, thing for those wordle stuff uh it's a encoding that sort of aggressive algorithm um for those that want to want to try and as the New York Times says, this one um, is quite impressive. Thanks for watching. And before you go, please like and subscribe and check out the social media links in the description below. And if you like, you can support us on Patreon to help us bring you new content so you may enjoy our favorite universe even more.